Hi everyone, so I am so excited about Mark Hill's new product, which is the pick -a mix Basically, you get the head, which sounds rude, but it's not that kind of head, and you get to choose any kind of end for it. So you buy the head separately, and you could, for example, buy this head, which is a bit of a thicker barrel for a bit of a looser curl. Or you could buy that head, which is a thinner one. Now, I'm actually going to use the thinner head to recreate a really famous look that you guys absolutely loved. I think this was actually my highest liked photo on Instagram at the time. So the wands and the top bits come in the box like this and then the wand handle comes in a slightly bigger box so you get whatever you want, pick and mix. So I'm going to start with using this wand. Now. When I first did this look, my hair was a lot shorter, so I don't know if this is going to work exactly like it did the first time, but we can give it a bloody good go, because I know how much you all love it. So I start by actually half in the hair, like totally sectioning the top half up. Twirling it round, getting a little clip in, bringing it forward. Remember, always use the heat protection spray. Heat can damage it, make it dry, and that's what you don't want to happen with your hair. You want it to be nice and healthy. Right, so you take a section, not too thick, it around and up as far as you can go, but not on the ear. I've had so many burns on the ear, it kills so much. I like to keep it there for at least six seconds, but I feel like I've went over six now. I like to hold the curl to just let it cool in your hand. I think it helps it stay in more. I don't know what, I, I learnt that off Holly. Holly's quite good at making the curl set, so I just copied. Sometimes I burn my hand though. I don't think I do it as well as her. ta -da! And then you just continue all the way around the head. Right, I'm on the top bit. So, make sure now that you're a bit closer to the top of your head, you don't burn your skull or anything, or your forehead. Perfect. Ooh, that was a cute one. Quite a lot of doing myself, mind. This doesn't half make your arm make mind. Feels like I've actually done a workout. This is the hardest bit because if you've got like a side fringe or a centre part with kind of like swoop side bits, it's just something you have to sort out at the very end because once I've curled this, I will look really stupid. But at the end, I've got to kind of back home it all together. And what I find works best is tossing it to either side and seeing which way it lies the best. <laughs> Ow. Killing me arms so much. Just holding them up like this constantly. Oh, I need to try and... I don't know where I can rest them either. Oh. So it might not go completely right, but as I said, I'm a huge fan of backcombing and this look gets backcombed to hell. Ah, ah. So, I am extra hot and I look almost like a super noodle head. But that is fine because this is, this is what you look like before it gets good. I just take the comb to it and it's a scary thought because if this goes wrong, you've ruined it. So be careful. And I just literally comb upwards to tighten all the curls even more. At the same time, kind of run your fingers through it as well so they don't get properly tatty. The top of the hair is hard, but just kind of run your fingers through and then comb up. As I say, you won't know where, you, where your fringe is gonna lie until you've done the whole thing and you mess about with it. One side 
will always go better than the other. It's like when you try and do your eyebrows, one eyebrow is so good and then the other one literally looks like it's been hit, ran over by a train. Just gotta keep playing around. So I feel like this side is going better than the other. Mm -hmm. Getting there. We are slowly but surely getting there. Hairspray. So we're using the freeze hold hairspray to keep all of these in. Mm, two seconds, two seconds. I need to make a slight adjustment of this bit. This is definitely a hairstyle that's going to take you a long time. So definitely don't try and do it if you're in a rush. <laughs> I think I might have it. Yeah? Yeah? So, once it's all in and it's all back home, it doesn't matter if it looks a little bit tatty or naughty, it's meant to be big, frizzy, who gives a crap hair. You need to give it a good spray because these are going to drop out. And there you go. I think I recreated it quite well. Just amazing.